Cultural heritage is the legacy of cultural resources and intangible attributes of a group or society that is inherited from past generations. Cultural heritage includes tangible culture, such as buildings, monuments, landscapes, works of art and artifacts, and intangible culture. Pakistan's cultural heritage includes archaeological sites, stupas, forts, shrines, tombs, buildings, residences, monuments, and places of worship. Mohenjo-daro is an archaeological site in the province of Sindh, Pakistan. Built around 2500 BCE, it was one of the largest settlements of the ancient Indus Valley civilization, and one of the world's earliest major cities, contemporaneous with the civilizations of ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, Minoan Crete, and Norte Chico. Mohenjo-daro was abandoned in the 19th century BCE as the Indus Valley civilization declined, and the site was not rediscovered until the 1920s. Significant excavation has since been conducted at the site of the city, which was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1980. The city's original name is unknown. Based on his analysis of a Mohenjo-daro seal, Iravatham Mahadevan speculates that the city's ancient name could have been Kukutarma, the city Rama of the Cockerel Kukuta. Cockfighting may have had ritual and religious significance for the city, with domesticated chickens bred there for sacred purposes, rather than as a food source. Mohenjo-daro may also have been a point of diffusion for the eventual worldwide domestication of chickens. Mohenjo-daro, the modern name for the site, has been variously interpreted as Mound of the Dead Men in Sindhi, and as Mound of Mohan, where Mohan is Krishna. Mohenjo-daro is located west of the Indus River in Larkana district, Sindh, Pakistan, in a central position between the Indus River and the Gagarhakra River. It is situated on a Pleistocene ridge in the middle of the flood plain of the Indus River Valley, around 28 kilometers, 17 miles from the town of Larkana. The tomb of Mian Gulam Kalhoro is a religious shrine situated in Hyderabad, Sindh, Pakistan. It is the burial place of Mian Gulam Shah Kalhoro who died in 1772 and is believed to be the founder of the city of Hyderabad in Pakistan as well as the second most important figure in Sindh after Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai. It is the oldest building in Hyderabad. The mausoleum of Kalhoro is 56 feet, 17 m, in width and 36 feet, 11 m, in height. The shrine is built inside a rectangular shaped fort. The interior of the tomb is a wonderful example of Sindhi art which is decorated with gildings, arc-shaped windows and tiles. The arc-shaped windows are filled with terracotta grills of geometrical patterns. The walled enclosure of the tomb area has gradually been filled by graves of other people, turning it into a graveyard. Since 2011, its preservation has been placed in charge of the government of the province of Sindh. The domed roof of the tomb fell in the early 20th century, and was replaced by a flat roof. It has since been restored. Makli Necropolis, Durdu Sindhi, is one of the largest funerary sites in the world, spread over an area of 10 kilometers near the city of Thatta, in the Pakistani province of Sindh. The site houses approximately 500,000 to 1 million tombs built over the course of a 400-year period. Makli Necropolis features several large funerary monuments belonging to royalty, various Sufi saints, and esteemed scholars. The site was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1981 as an outstanding testament to Sindhi civilization between the 14th and 18th centuries. Makli Necropolis is located in the town of Makli, which is located on a plateau approximately 6 km from the city of Thatta, the capital of Lower Sindh until the 17th century. It lies approximately 98 km east of Karachi, near the apex of the Indus River Delta in southeastern Sindh. The southernmost point of the site is approximately five miles north of the ruins of the medieval Kalankot fort. The Sufi saint, poet, and scholar Sheikh Jamali established a Khanka, or Sufi gathering site, at Makli, and was eventually buried there. 
the 14th century Trican ruler, Jam Tamaki, venerated the saint and wished to be interred near the saint, beginning the tradition of using Makli as a funerary site. The site rose to prominence as a major funerary site during under the rule of the Sama dynasty, who had made their capital near Thatta. The most architecturally significant tombs at the site date from around the time of the Mughal era, between 1570 and 1640 CE. The Zyara Juniper Forest is a juniper forest in Zyara, Balochistan, Pakistan. These forests are spread around mountainous area of Zyara and Mount Zargun. The mountains range from 1,181 to 3,488 meters elevation. The forests cover an area of about 110,000 hectares, and it is the largest juniper forest in Pakistan. The climate is temperate and semi arid, with mild summers and cold winters. Average annual rainfall, measured in Zyara, is 269 mm, with a maximum of 74 mm in July and a minimum of 3 mm in January. July is the hottest month, 27.4 degrees Celsius, and January the coldest, 7.9 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity ranges from 35% in January to 60% in September. Snow falls between November and April with a maximum, 68 cm, in February. The characteristic tree is the Pashtun juniper, Juniperus serov shanica. Juniper forest occurs between 2,000 and 3,000 m elevation along ridge tops and on moderate to steep slopes, 1,8 degree to 3,0 degree. They grow mostly in dense, open, and pure stands without stratification. The age of the oldest trees is 5,000 to 7,000 years for which they are called living fossils. Fifty-four different species of plants are found in the forests, including Afghan ash, Fraxinus xanthoxaloides, wild pistachio, Pistacia atlantica and P. kinjuk, wild almond, Prunus ebernia, makai, Caragona ambigua, Surrey, Rosa begariana, and Ziralg, Berberis baluchis tanica, B. coliobotris, B. densiflora, and B. lyceum. About half of native plant species are used medicinally by local people. Essential oils from the juniper have antioxidant qualities and have been used medicinally since antiquity. These forests also prevent water reserves from evaporating, which are major source of livelihood for local people. Native mammals include the Suleiman Marker, Capra falconeri gerdoni, Uriel, Ovis venii, Asian black bear, Ursus thibet anus, wolf, Canis lupus, golden jackal, Canis aureus, and Afghan pika, Ochotana rufus sens. Birds include the chikar, Alectorus chikar, mistal thrush, Turtus visivorus, black throated thrush, Turtus atrogularis, streaked laughing thrush, Trochilopteron lineatum, Rufus nape tit, Periparis rufonuculus, and bar tailed tree creeper, Surthia himalaya. The Shri Katas Raj temples also known as Kila Katas, is a complex of several Hindu temples connected to one another by walkways. The temple complex surrounds a pond named Katas which is regarded as sacred by Hindus. The complex is located in the Podohar Plateau region of Pakistan's Punjab province. The temples are located near the town of Koasedan Shah, and are near the M2 motorway. The temple's pond is said in the Puranas to have been created from the teardrops of Shiva, after he wandered the earth inconsolable after the death of his wife Sati. The pond occupies an area of two canals and fifteen marlas, with a maximum depth of twenty feet. The temples play a role in the Hindu epic poem, the Mahabhairata, where the temples are traditionally believed to have been the site where the Pandava brothers spent a significant portion of their exile. It is also traditionally believed by Hindus to be the site where the brothers engaged in a riddle contest with the Yakshas, as described in the Yaksha Prashna. Another tradition states that the Hindu deity Krishna laid the foundation of the temple, and established a handmade shivling in it. <laughs>